standing because of what God has given them to stand for, what he has installed into them, to know that he is who he say he is, All right, a so person that would not lead them good. to all forsake them. That's good. Amen. We're going to read that out of the scriptures, though. We're going to read that out of the scriptures. That's facts. Everything Sylvester just said was facts. I'm going to show you that Christ told us to do that same thing. You right. asked what the second I step was. Myself, huh? That's not even what this about. I, I got you. all myself. Bro, speaking. bro you good, bro. We not. We out here because we love you, bro. We out here for love. That's what, it. What, what you, I'm not out here because hate. In order for you to get that Neither are we, bro. Listen, 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 brother, brother, that's in order for you to get that Hey, that's a step. That's a step toward repentance. He stopped calling me nigga. He started calling me brother. Hey, Sylvester. In order for you to get that medicine. All praises to the most high. Sylvester, let me read the scripture. Let me, let me read the scripture. All praises. All pra hey, we we here Bring for progress. Up. We here for growth. That's, that's it. Right. That's all that's we here for. That, that's let's let's, let's, let's see what Christ said. Give me uh, Luke 14. Read what you got. Bring Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Bring Bring verse 21. Verse 21. Uh -huh. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. We the servant. Our Lord is the black Messiah, Jesus Christ. Read. That's right. Then the master of the house, uh -huh. being angry, said to his servant, Read. go out quickly into the streets. Into where? Into the streets. That's where we at, bro. Make it plain. We in the streets, bro. Make it plain. We Break in the hood. Down. We in the gutter. Wherever our Break people down. at is where we at. Bring it on. This is what our Lord and Savior told us to do, commanded us to do. Teach. Read. Go out and teach. And lanes of the city. Uh-huh. And bring in hither the poor. Read. And the man. The, the, man, the scripture right. says we got to bring in the poor. Teach. The brothers that ain't got nothing, you gotta, your pockets you on E, your, your gas tank on E, your bank account is on E. That's who we out here for. Right. On, the literal poor and the spiritual poor. That's right. Read. And bring in hither the poor uh -huh. and the main and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. That's and right. yet there is room. There's still room in this party that we about That's to get started, right. bro. Right. When Christ come back, he's setting up his kingdom. Bring it up. Ain't no more Joe Biden. Right. Ain't no more uh, whoever ruling over. Ain't no more Putin. Ain't, ain't no more rulers over Israel that don't look like you and me. That's right. right. Everybody that's ruling this planet Earth right here, right now, is going to be an Israelite. Right. right. A so-called black man, a so-called Hispanic man, a so-called Native American man. Right. The scripture says there's still room, bro. There's still the time before Christ returns. Bring it Once he returns, it's a wrap. Right. 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 It ain't room no more. But we out here, he ain't, the day hasn't been brought forth as the chaff yet, so it's still space in this party that we're going to get started when Christ comes back. Bring it right. And the Lord said unto the servant. This is what the Lord told us. Come on. Step number two. After he told us to repent, now he's telling us what? Read. Go out and into the highways. We out in the highways. And hedges. We out here in the hedges. That's right. And compel them to come in. We out here to compel you to come in. Right. Right. That's step number two, brother. That's, That's right. step number two. All it is is step one and step two. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That's A right. brother repent, get him out on the streets. Another brother repent, I mean. get him out on the That's streets. I mean. And you know what's going to happen after that? The kingdom of heaven is here. The kingdom of heaven is here. Jesus. Give me Revelation 7. That's right. I'll keep it. That my house may be filled. It may be filled. It's a special number that the Lord is waiting on. That number has not been satisfied yet. That's right. You might be the last one, bro. That's right. When that last number is filled, World War III pops off like that. Right, right, that's right. right. This kingdom is coming to his knees. That's right. That's right. The Bible says America ain't going to be nothing but a, a, a perpetual puff of smoke. We're going to be looking at it from across the earth in Jerusalem, right. and we'll forever be able to see the smoke going up from America because of how right. wicked it was. Because right. right. all the evil that they did Teach. to our people. Right. Keep reading. Bring it out. Verse 24. Uh -huh. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Give me what I asked for. Yeah, Revelation 7. We're going to show you the special number, bro. Bring it out. We're going to show you that special number that we waiting on. That's right. You Bring it out. 144. Revelations chapter 7 verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard the number of them. Give me verse 3. Verse 3. Uh -huh. Saying, hurt not the earth. Right now, what's being held back? The earth ain't going to be hurt yet. You know what the earth is going to be hurt with? Thermonuclear missiles. That's right. That's right. Thermonuclear ICBM missiles right. coming to America soon. To. Soon, America's gonna be destroyed according to the Bible. Right. That's right, teach. And all the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives that do not want to repent, that say I don't live a life of sin, that say I ain't got nothing to repent from, 
they gonna die in that fire that's coming to America. That's yeah. right. Read what you got. Neither the sea uh -huh. nor the tree Bring it till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And that's what Christ told us to do in Luke chapter 14. Yeah. When he said, go out to the highways, that's right. go out to the hedges, that's right. compel my people to come in. Come we out here to seal you, bro. That's right. right. Seal you with the understanding of who you are. Right. You're not black. You're not an African American. You ain't a nigga. That's right. And your homeboy ain't yeah, your nigga right. either. That's right. You an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Yeah, that's right. right. You got to learn your sins and you got to repent from them. Read. Verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. It's a certain number of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that got to be sealed here in America and to the four corners of the earth. Read. And they were sealed. And 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. That's what we out here for. We are here to call our people to repentance. We are here to wake our people up to compel them to come into the feast of the Lord. Right. But if you do not repent, if you do not repent, this is what Amos 9 and 10 says. If you do not repent from your sins, if you don't acknowledge what they are and stop them, there's nothing but death and destruction for you. That's what we don't want to see happen to you. Read what you got. Amos chapter 9 verse 10. Uh -huh. All the sinners of my people. The Bible says all the sinners of my people. Everybody that don't want to put fringes on their clothes. All the sisters that don't want to put dresses on. Everybody that still want to keep going to church on Sunday and don't want to keep the Sabbath. Everybody that want to honor Juneteenth but don't want to honor the Passover. Right. All the sinners of my people. Read. Shall die. By the sword shall die by a thermal nuclear missile. That That's what the Bible says. That means. That's what the Bible says. That's why we come out here to the highways, to the hedges, to the streets to compel you to repent. That's right. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. Which Get say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. What they say? The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. They say I ain't got nothing to repent from. They say, I ain't in the midst of no sin. Teach. It ain't no commandments that I'm breaking that I got to stop breaking. Teach. Oh, yes, you do. Keep reading. Verse 11. Uh -huh. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David uh -huh. that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. That's what you want to happen. That's what we out here for. To raise up the tabernacles of David. To close up the breaches thereof. You know what those breaches are? That's right. Those breaches are, are our sins. Right, bring it out. Those breaches are the consequences of our sins. Teach. Give me Hosea 5 and 15. Because this is what happened. Bring we discontinued from my heritage. Yeah, we discontinued like from our God. Bring it out. God punished us as a result of that, G. Like That's what he did to us. He punished like us for breaking his commandments. You got kids? I got kids. If my kids don't do what I tell them to do, what you think they get? A spanking. So what you think you getting when you got brought here on ships? A spanking. That's right. You getting a spiritual ass whooping right now. Right. You getting a spiritual ass whooping right now. No, it ain't they. The most high God is spanking your ass. That's right. He's spanking that ass right now. Right. Read what you got. Bring it up. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. The most high God said he will go and return to his place. He ain't paying us no attention no more. That's he right. said, I'm going to let the white man deal with y'all. Y'all ain't want to listen to me? I'm going to let the white man deal with y'all. You know what he going to do? He going to change your name. Bring he going to change your religion. That's right. He, he going to change your diet. You're stronger than the white man, bro. We this are, but you're not, tap, you're not tapped into your strength. What you got? What you got? Now, listen to what he's saying, right? Hear me, hear me clearly, man. Because I'm with everything that he's saying about the word, but listen to what I'm saying. How many times when you saw yourself in a situation that you say, Lord, if you just get me out of this one? Let me read this for you. I have never been put in a situation. How many times have you been put in a situation? I've been, I know, I've been through some shit that I can't, I can't, I can't describe. How many times have you just said, if you get me out of this one? How many times have you asked yourself, if you just get me out of this one? That you never thought that you would see yourself asking, if you just get me out of this one, I won't do it no more. 
Be yeah, real with yourself. Real some shit. But how many times have you acted? Have you just getting out, not knowing that you were just talking to him, but you said, if you get me out of there, I'm and going to I'm still right now. All right, so he got you all the way. Let me yeah. mope me not up. See, he, but he, he, he brought you to this day for you to repent. That's the only yeah. reason you still stand. That you know, That's the only reason you still stand. Bring it out. Give me Hosea 5 and 6. Bring it out. Listen, listen. Because I'm strong. I'm still standing here. Because the spirit that's in you, bro. Yeah. The spirit that's in you is strong. I'm strong. The spirit that's in you is strong. Where that spirit come from? I don't know. It come from the most high God. That's what we're here to tell you. I'm giving you the CNA. I'm giving you the CNA. Hey, Sylvester, let me. So, Sylvester, Sylvester, let me finish up. Me Sylvester, you Sylvester, you let me right, let me finish up. We're only out here you for a little bit longer, Sylvester. Let me finish up. We're only out here no, for a little bit longer. We're only out here for a little bit longer. Read what you got. I will go and return to my place. The Lord has spared you because he's still giving you space to repent. Right. He's still giving you another day to say, you know what? He's space to heal, not repent. That's what, no, healing comes from repentance. Right. The repentance happens first. You haven't healed yet. You I have know. not healed yet. I know. And why have not? Why have you not healed yet? Because I haven't figured it. Because I haven't figured it out yet. You're not gonna figure it out on your own. Yes, I will. That's right. You will not. That's right. How old are you? That's right. I'm 33. You ain't figured it out in 33 years. You yes. ain't gonna figure it out. Jesus was 32 when he died, and it took him that long to figure it out. He was. He he had it figured out before he got here, bro. That's right. He had it figured out before he That's got right. it. That's right, and I'm going to have it figured out. Nah, but you 33 years in, and you still ain't got it figured out. Jeez. Yeah, he died give, when he give was me, 33, uh, Give me bro. Acts 8. He died when he was 33. Give me Acts 8. Acts chapter uh, 8. 32. He didn't even make it yeah, to 33. I made it a year yeah. past him. Uh, start at verse 20, 30. Check this out. Check this out. I'm, Acts I'm chapter in. 8, verse 30. Uh -huh. And Philip ran thither to him read. and heard him read the prophet. And said, Understandest thou what thou readest? That's what we out here for, bro. We come out here to our, our people. Everybody done heard of this book. Everybody got their thoughts and interpretations about what this book means. We come out here to say, You understand what you've been reading? You understand what's been presented to you? Because none of us had the understanding before this next verse. Read. Verse 31. Uh -huh. And he said, how can I accept some man, some, what? some man should, what? should guide me? That's what you need, bro. You need guidance. Oh, right. You need guidance from spiritual men that's going to help you to examine yourself to figure out what it is that you need to do to heal yourself. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.